What's up guys, my name's Brandon and iOS 13.2.3 was released back on November 18th and after using it on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, my iPhone 11 Pro, and my iPad Pro, every single day since its release, I wanted to give you guys an update on how it's been treating me two weeks later. And I'm also gonna address some issues that you guys have mentioned here on my YouTube channel and over on social media. So anyways, yes, we haven't seen a public update since iOS 13.2.3 and we haven't seen a new beta for 13.2.3 since November 20th, so two weeks ago now. And as for when we'll get the next update, which is presumably iOS 13.3, I don't know for sure, but we will talk about when that could be near the end of this video. So anyways, iOS 13.2.3 was a pretty minor update to begin with. It fixed some annoying bugs like the spotlight search issue where you would search in spotlight and nothing would come up, you would have no results. It also fixed the attachments issue inside of the messages application when basically you would go into your messages and you would click on the I and see all the media down here. Before it would just not show up, it would say something about indexing. And of course we did also get several mail fixes as well, which mail has been super buggy in iOS 13 as a whole. So anyways, things seemed great at first. Everything was running perfectly fine for me on all devices for the first couple of days. But lately, and I say lately as in pretty much the past week, I've been having very annoying issues with this software on all devices, but mostly on the iPhones, my iPhone 11 Pro and then my iPhone 11 Pro Max here, which I use every single day. But one of the main issues I've been having here with iOS 13.2.3 is with notification sounds for my text messages. So basically I have sounds and badges and everything, all the notifications turned on for my messages. But when I get a message, my phone is locked and I get a text message. Sometimes it wouldn't even line up my screen. I wouldn't hear a sound, wouldn't get a vibration, anything. And like 30 minutes would go by and nothing at all. So that's an issue I've had here on 13.2.3. And I haven't had that on previous versions of iOS, I don't believe. I did have an issue one time where it just wouldn't send me the notification right away. But then when two minutes rolled by, it did finally you know, alert me the second time around. But with 13.2.3, I just get no indication of having a text message whatsoever. Now it's not every single time, but it does happen pretty frequently. And I have tried toggling on and off notifications for messages. I've tried tons of different things and nothing seems to be fixing it. So hopefully iOS 13.3, does fix that because it is very annoying when people think that I'm ignoring them when I really just have no idea that I even got the text message at all because believe it or not, I'm not on my phone 24 seven. And another really weird issue I've been having on 13.2.3 continuously, even after a reboot, is that when I would go into a social media application like especially Instagram and Twitter and I would start playing a video that has audio attached to it and I had my audio turned on for that video so I could actually hear it when I'm in the application. When I would go out of the application when that video is still playing, I would continue you hearing it on the home screen. It would just keep playing. I could lock my device and I would still continue to hear it. And sometimes I would even go into other applications that, you know, where the video wasn't, if I would go into like Safari or something like that, and the audio from that video would still continue to play. And there's even been times in Instagram where I would mute the video and then I would go out of the application, but it would still start playing the sound once I left the application like three seconds later. It's been really, really weird. One time it even happened when I was in a phone call and you know, I was on Twitter, I played the video and then I paused the video and then went out of my phone and I got a phone call right once I get went back to the home screen. And right once I picked up the phone call, that video started playing with the audio right in my ear and I had to go into the Twitter application while I was in the phone call to pause the video and then continue talking on the phone. So it's really weird, some very strange bugs going on with social media applications and I don't believe that it's just Instagram or Twitter, I don't believe it's a third party app issue, I believe it's a, an issue with iOS, just because it happened with both Twitter and Instagram. I did notice that it happened more with Instagram, but still it happened with both. So that tells me that it's an issue with iOS, not just these applications. So those are definitely the two biggest issues I've had with iOS 13.2.3 so far. But as far as overall performance, things are fine. It feels about the same to me as every single iOS 13.2 release. I wouldn't really expect any performance bumps until iOS 13.3 at the earliest. So for people wondering, you know, especially when 13.2.2 came out, that did fix the RAM management issues, but 13.2.3 is not really gonna give you any kind of performance bump. I really haven't noticed any kind of improvements at all in terms of performance here. If anything, things are only worse because of those bugs that I mentioned here a second ago. Now, battery life is another story, and I need to pick up my iPhone 11 Pro Max here, the phone I use every single day to show you guys a little bit more about the battery life. So we go into my settings, and go down to battery right here. I'll show you guys the type of usage so you can see that I am using the phone 
quite a bit here. You can see about nine hours, 35 minutes of screen on time. Over the last 10 days, I'm averaging about 9.44 and 18 minutes of screen off time. So a good bit. You can see there I'm spending most of my time in YouTube, Instagram, DraftKings, Facebook, Twitter, and Safari. But for some reason, iOS 13.2.3 has given me worse battery life than previous versions of iOS 13.2 and also noticeably worse battery life than the iOS 13.3 betas, which I'm testing over here on my iPhone 11 and also on my iPhone 10R. Now, I don't think that this worst battery life has anything to do with the bugs I mentioned earlier. There's a chance it does, but I doubt that has anything to do with it. But I did notice that I'm getting about 20 to 30 minutes less of screen on time at the end of the night. And I, by the way, I measure this by my battery percentage at 8 p.m., which is when I usually finish up with my work for the day. And also, I do say noticeable and I do, you know, notice these things, uh, but it's really only noticeable to somebody like me who sits here and, you know, test these software versions side by side. But you yourself, you're probably not going to notice any kind of major or even noticeable difference in battery life going from 13.2.2 to 13.2.3. Now you may notice it going from 0.2.3 to 13.3, which is gonna come out later on. You may notice it then, but as far as all the 13.2 releases, you're probably not gonna notice a big difference in battery life at all. And of course I see comments about bad battery life in literally every single video for every single iOS release. So those complaints will never go away. And you know, I don't even really like mentioning them anymore here on the channel, unless it's something abnormally bad, just because somebody has something to say about battery life and battery drain literally no matter what version it is and no matter what device it is. And as I always say, I think that has more to do with the user than it does the software. So a lot of people should start watching my battery saving tips video, and then they probably wouldn't be complaining so much about the battery life and blaming it on the iOS version. But yeah, after reading through my comments, it does also seem that some of you guys are also having issues with iOS 13.2.3 as well. Nobody mentioned the issues that I talked about that I was having. So if you guys were having any of those issues I mentioned earlier, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, one of the bigger complaints aside from the battery life is connectivity. And that continues with iOS 13.2.3. I did notice a lot of people in my comment section talking bad about the Wi-Fi connectivity and LTE connectivity. And honestly, I think that a lot of people just have bad internet and they have bad routers or something because I've not had any issues at all with Wi-Fi ever since I got good internet. I did used to have a lot of issues with my connectivity on my iPhone specifically, and I really haven't had any issues since I got good internet. So my solution for you guys having Wi-Fi issues is to just get better internet. It sounds harsh, but I think that's really the only solution for you guys. But as far as LTE, LTE has not given me any issues at all. Calls and data are working just fine for me on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And also when I throw my SIM card inside of another phone like the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro, things are working just fine. And of course that is continuously being improved upon with the modem firmware updates, which we did see with 0.2.3. But let's take a look at some of the comments in my iOS 13.2.3 video here. And you can see here, Ben says, is anyone else having trouble with Hey Siri? Mine stopped working after the last update. So. Of course, for that, you can try turning it on and off inside of settings. I haven't had the issue with Hey Siri, as you can see my iPad Pro here, picking up every single thing that I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out of that. But if you are having issues with you know, Siri, you can go ahead and try toggling that on and off. I don't think that has anything to do with 13.2.3. Ali said, I don't know if anyone else has noticed that the alarm in the clock app has a bug. Sometimes it doesn't make any sound. It just keeps the screen on until tapping stop. Now this I have not had, and this could just be like user error. Maybe your phone is not on. Maybe it's on silent. Maybe you don't have sounds on or something like that. I've not had this issue with the alarms and I use my alarm every single morning to wake up. So if you guys are having that issue, let me know down in the comment below, but I think that could just be a user error and not realizing that your phone is in silent or something like that. And also someone here said that my iPhone XS gets hot really quickly, not running any games though. So I have had a lot of people talk about overheating issues. This is more towards the beginning of iOS 13. I haven't really seen many people talk about it recently. I've not had it on any of my devices. I did have a lot of issues with the iPhone 11 early on with the overheating issues. I did tell you guys about that but I have not had any issues with 13.2.3 when it comes to running really hot or overheating or anything like that, even when I'm playing games, even on my iPad Pro. So if you guys have had any issues with overheating or just you know your phone or iPad getting hotter than normal, let me know down in the comment below. But me personally, I've not had any of those issues. Now that next update that I mentioned is going to be iOS 13.3 and developers are currently testing out iOS 13.3 beta 3 at the moment, but we could probably expect the final public release of iOS 13.3 
early next week. So the 9th or the 10th is a good possibility. There is also the slight possibility that we see a fourth beta of iOS 13.3. I don't think we need a fourth beta, but if that's the case, then we would probably get the final public release on either the 16th or the 17th, the following Monday or Tuesday. But of course, I don't know for sure just yet. I will keep you guys posted over on Twitter if I find out any other information. If things are going to be happening sooner than expected, later than expected, I will keep you guys informed over there on Twitter. So if you aren't following me, go ahead and follow me. That link is down in the description below. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 13.2.3 here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you were having any other issues, like I mentioned, make sure to leave them down in a comment below and I will try to get back to you and I may even mention you in a future video as well. So let me know any thoughts you guys have down there in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it, or if you just like hearing my voice, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss the next iOS update video or the next iOS update follow-up video. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.